What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today it's the release Sneakers uh, and their new album. Um, I always forget to check whether or not it's going to be a 11, 11 p.m. release for me or a 4 a.m. the next morning release. So I was busy editing the, uh, the uh, reactions I was going to put up tonight and then this notif notification came in and I was like, already rendering i was had a 30 minute wait so it's finally our time to check it out i really need to learn to start reading those uh those flyers and those uh notices that put the time on it but either way it's finally our time to listen to this so i'm really excited about this if you're new to this channel uh itsy is an alt of mine they're up there with blackpink who got me into k-pop and chair young is my alt uh my ultimate female k-pop uh bias so Really, really excited about this. So let's check this out. This is Itzy with sneakers. Volume up. Subs on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hello, ladies. Whoa. Bias. Oh, oh, oh. Love that pre. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can't. I gotta talk. I gotta talk. She's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, ladies. I, I, I gotta talk. Okay. First of all, this sounds so, so, so good. The really interesting thing to me is it's, there's a lot of energy in it. It sounds just like Itzy. But it's literally just a bass. I'm sure there's other sounds going on, but I was very distracted. Uh, and we're going to go back and listen to some of that. But it's how bare the instrumental is. It's really, really nice. You can hear, I mean, a lot of times you can't even hear the echo uh, or the um, the reverb on the voices, right? Unless you really listen for it. This, like, there's so much space in this mix, which is very, very nice. And it's making them all stand out more, and it's allowing us to hear them even better. So let's go back a little bit and see what this chorus is. It's really, really good, though, and I love the pre. Let's just go hear the pre again. And they're all so beautiful. I love it. Okay, 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 we're gonna pause her. Hold on, hold on, region. Okay, so I make this reference a lot with these types of songs. Uh, I always bring up Dolly Parton, nine to five. And you guys have called it, I guess, city pop, right? I just uh, uh, attribute it to her or to that particular song because it always brings that to mind. Like, not just the fact of, of that in the movie that that song is from, you know, it's a big city type of life, but it's the vibe. Like, it's just like somebody's telling you a story and you just feel like you're walking down the streets of New York or a big city, right? So this song has that vibe as well. It's really, really cool. All right, let's go back and let the second verse uh, vibe in. So yeah, I guess it's city pop, right? Hold on. Yes. Why do I feel? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, G. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What? I don't know if it's the nature of the mix and the fact that the instrumental is so bare, uh, which is cool. Like they're flashing in guitars, they're flashing in horns. But especially when Ryujin sings, like you can hear that reverb on her voice. 
there's something about it that is just hitting me different. And I think it's probably be, probably because in Itzy songs, right? There, there's so much going on. But literally, the main uh, characters in this instrumental are the bass and the drums. Everything else just kind of flashes in. And it allows you to hear them so much better. And I don't feel like anything's different as far as like line distribution. But Cher Young's my bias, right? And every time Cher Young has her part, I always feel like it. Uh, they switch to another person too soon. It doesn't feel that way in this song. And I, I, I don't think there's really a difference in timing or how many lines she has or, or that she gets to finish out the, the, the sentence of the line that she's, she's singing. It's just because it's so bare, you're so aware of it, right? Uh, again, you guys let me know, and I'm sure there's going to be line distribution videos and stuff uh, uh, put out. They're probably working on them now. Uh, but it, it's, it just feels different, but I think it's just because we're able to hear them, uh, and focus on them more. So, uh, they all sound great and Cher Young just killed that. And it just, it's just really, really good. Okay. Let's go back. Get it. And it's so, so itsy. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, before we get to the bridge, holy shit, that, that quintessential sound of Itzy uh, from Wannabe. It's bass with a very low brass on top of it, but it still hit just as hard as in Wannabe, even though there isn't as much going on. It's just the bass, a low uh, uh, brass hit on top of it, and their vocals, and it still works. Okay, all right, all right, let's go back, let's go back and see what this bridge is. Yes! Oh my god, dude. She's so beautiful. That was a very, very nice bridge. Very cool backup vocals. There ain't nobody else like Itzy, dude. Period. That was so, so good. So refreshing. So summery. Just so Itzy. And I loved it. Holy, holy. Yeah, I don't think anything was different than the normal formula. I think just because of the instrumental and how bare bones it was, but still effective, you're just able to focus more, which is really, really cool. Yeah, that's Playlist, obviously, and I'm only going to react to this tonight because uh, I wasn't expecting it tonight. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to do the entire album. Uh, if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.